welcome to the city of Birmingham, located in the heart of England. It's a city that for a 27th consecutive year is playing host to the Yonex All England Championships. And this is the 110th edition of this tournament, which makes it the oldest and most prestigious international tournament in the sport of badminton. Finals day today, and we're starting with women's doubles from Fukushima and Hirota. The three-time World Championship silver medalists are up against Du Yue and Li Yin Wei. Then it's been singles in the number one and two seeds, Chou Tian Chen from Chinese Taipei, up against Victor Axelsson, the former world champion and beaten finalist last year. Mixed doubles is after that, and Puavaranukro and Teira Tanajai, the World Championship silver medalists, up against former champion Praveen Jordan with his new partner, Octavianti. Then it's women's singles, and it's a repeat of last year's final. The defending champion, Chen Wufei, up against Tai Su Ying, the two-time former champion in her fourth consecutive women's singles final here at the All England. Then it's Gideon and Sukumolio, the world number ones and two-time former champions, up against Endo and Watanabe. Now with uh, this uh, tournament being part of the HSBC BWF World Tour, the trophy which will be presented to all the winners of the World Tour of finals in Guangzhou is displayed at each World Tour event. Brought into the stadium this afternoon by Phil Griffiths, volunteer of the day. Well with women's doubles being our first uh, final this afternoon, I can tell you that as far as the race to Guangzhou is uh, concerned, uh, four pairs are from Korea, three from China, and only one from Japan. And I say that because uh, four players in the top 10 in the world rankings from Japan. Six of the top 10 have contested a final during the qualifying period. And after this week in Birmingham, the number twos there will go up to number ones. And the number six who are in the final, if they win today's final, will go up to number two. If they lose today's final, they'll only go up to number three. So as far as the women's doubles draw is concerned by quarterfinal stage, perhaps a little concerning that only three different nationalities involved because there were three pairs from Japan and three from Korea, two from China. And I can tell you that three of the four quarterfinals went to three games at semi-final stage, all Japanese affair. And the winners from Four years ago, the Olympic champions Matsutomo and Takahashi beaten by Fukushima and Hirota.
games as you saw an hour and eight minutes for that final that last meeting in Guangzhou Kang Sung Yong from Korea our umpire conducting the toss of the coin and the players change ends before the start of this final delighted to say Morton Frost is sitting alongside me did you see who won the toss and what the choice was it was very 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 quick but I think the Japanese pair chose the surf and the Chinese pair chose ends thank you but I'm not entirely sure it went really really quick yeah so here is Yuki Fukushima 26 years of age from Yatsushiro City in Kumamoto Prefecture. She and her partner have been world number one, so they're currently number three. Uh, they spent a total of 42 weeks across four different spells as world number ones. Silver medalists at the last three world championships, and in two of those world championship finals, they had match point opportunities, but couldn't convert. Sayaka Hirota is a year younger than her partner, and last year they were in five finals, winning four titles, and incidentally those four titles at four different levels of tournament. First round against the 2018 World Junior Champion, second round against the winners of the Denmark 750 event, they went the full distance there. Quarter final against the number five seeds Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young. They were very comfortably up in that second game, and then it got awfully close. Semi-final against number seven seeds, the Olympic champions, and winners here four years ago. That was just 12 and 12. So to their opponents, and here, Du Yue. She is 22 years of age. She turned 22 last month. And she and her partner are enjoying their eighth consecutive week as number six on the world rankings. The Yinwei had turned 23 on the Wednesday of the All England, the first day of the All England, so five days ago. And last year uh, they were winners of two titles, but they were both at Super 300 level. Here at this year's All England, well, uh, they had a comfortable matches in the first two rounds, quarter final against the number two seeds, the two time reigning world champions and beaten finalists here last year. Matsumoto and Nagahara came from a game down in that one. Semi-final against the number four seeds, Lee So Hee, former champion here and her a partner, uh, Shin Siang Chan. So as I was saying, Kang Sung Young, uh, umpire for this one and David Evans from England, the service judge. So for the Chinese pair, this a first ever Super 1000 final. Ladies and gentlemen, tour tournament final on my right, in total, but Yuki first Fukushima at this level. and Sayaka Hirota, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Du Yue and Li In Hui, China. <laughs> Yuki Fukushima to serve to Li In Hui, love all, play. So the beaten finalists from two years ago, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Getting this wow. final on the way. Perfect serve to start. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Morton, I'm guessing with the head to head, the fact that the Japanese pair have won the last four encounters, coupled with the fact that uh, this, for them, is a fourth Super 1000 oh. tournament final. They've been in the All England final before, so they know about this experience. Uh, probably makes them 
favourites for this, do you think? <laughs> yeah, in a way, of course, I think they're favourites. Um, they have been extremely consistent uh, the past two or three years on the world circuit. And as you said, the head-to-head -head between the two pairs is in, in favour of the Japanese. I think for a while the, the Chinese pair has been... It's been difficult, <coughs> excuse me, for them to string enough good results together Three, in the same one. tournament. Very often they play one good match in a tournament and then they lose later on. And uh, I find that uh, this tournament here, they suddenly perform to a very, very high standard. And uh, I think that this is a 50-50 match. Yeah. Interesting. We might see a number of these long rallies. Yeah, first That's time so I've hard. really took notice of uh, Do Three. Yue uh, at Li Yinhui was uh, back in 2018 here at the All England where they lost the second round to Camilla Rita Yule and Christina Peterson. But it was a fierce fight in three games. Yeah, and of course, the Danes went on to win. And they went on to win it, but I'm telling you, that match in the second round, that was really, really something. Ambitious. <laughs> Very ambitious. <laughs> ambitious. Ambitious. Uh -huh. But I also think that's what's making her such a good player, is that she actually dares to play shots. She really dares to play out of the comfort zone now and again. And she is quite unpredictable and very difficult to play against. Nice yes, good return of serve from Lee and Wei. expect if you serve out wide you're really expecting a straight reply aren't you that was clever from Lee and another thing that I think that might help the Chinese combination is the fact that Du Yue is not playing mixed doubles with her normal partner He Ting in this tournament. They've lost the first round in uh, all the early tournaments here in 2000 and, uh, 2020. Yeah. And uh, perhaps, I, I don't know about that partnership, whether that is going to sort of fade away or not, but uh, they are definitely not playing here at the All England, despite they are qualified. <laughs> And I think the fact that she's not playing mixed doubles but having just to focus on, on the women's doubles is probably a plus for the Chinese as well. It's really fascinating because Steen and I were talking earlier in the week about some of the women's doubles players like uh, Nagahara who commentated on her mixed doubles mm. against the English pair yes. of Ellis and Smith the very first day and we were talking about the fact that we felt she was playing mixed doubles to try and help her women's doubles and you're now saying for this particular Chinese pair which I agree with she's they haven't been going anywhere in her mixed doubles do you eh? no and if she's just focusing now on her women's doubles that's perhaps helping I think it's because uh, it's, it's not so much about her skills and uh, understanding of the game and placement <laughs> anticipation as well. it's purely physical Yeah. That's 
terribly dangerous. You've got to make up your mind when you're taking it that late. Why don't you just leave it? Get your spatial yeah. awareness about the court. Well, this is a five-point run by Fukushima and Hirota. And that isn't even close from Li and Wei. Oh, my goodness, what on earth is she doing? Is that partly nerves, do you think, Morton? I think she's a little bit shaken under the circumstances here. I, 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 I think she feels under pressure yeah. playing the... The final for the first time, as you very rightly mentioned, they uh, are only playing here for the third time and have not performed, you know, to absolutely world class. They lost the second round and the first first round in those two other participations yeah. here at the All England. So um, perhaps it's a little bit of nerves, but I'm sure they will settle down. You know, that last shot, I would have challenged that, but seeing it again, it looked to me as if it might have been out. Oh. But here we are at the mid-game interval uh, with the number three seeds, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota with the advantage. Six-point advantage against the number six seeds, do you have to play? ないのもないけど、やっぱり冷静に過ぐ配球ね。オッケー。熱くならないように常に常に自分をシンプルにすればかり。高さすごく修正して、機能できる。パンチボン。相手も相手も相手も相手も相手も相手も相手も相手も相
she didn't move her feet. And uh, Lee in white. Change. Sub solo. 47. Needed an extra step, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. And still she chose the difficult way out of that one as well. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect placement because Substable. the hesitation of the two A Japanese players, 14. both leaving it for the other. Yeah, surely in my book it was Hirota's shot to play. She was the one that was standing uh, furthest and uh, forward. And not only that, she already made a move forward. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's good athletic play from Lee and Wei. Jumping in the round the head position. Keep the shuttle going down and played a wonderful smash. Look, she'd been in the forehand side and now the jump round the head. Great athletic play. Equally good defence yeah. there. Very That's nice so defence from Hirota. Able to guide that cross court. Well, I must say, I, I really like uh, how the Chinese combination is standing so high on the court. They're very much to the front, both of them. And I think one of the reasons why the Japanese team perhaps likes to play this Chinese team is the fact that they are able to pin them a bit more on the back line than other players are able to do. Interesting. It's a big opportunity for Du Yue. Yeah, that's well worked. And that's very much their favoured formation so, with so Hirota coming forward. 16, to make the kill at the front of the court. That's great drive defence. In she comes. Yeah, very nice counter-attacking badminton mm. there from uh, Hirota first. You and I, we haven't worked uh, together all week, and this is the first, the first day, first day we're doing uh, working together. Did you and Steen experience Play. that uh, there was, of course, the sideways drift from, yes. from left to right, but also a little drift alongside the court as well? Yes, but we had quite a discussion about it yesterday because we thought the lengthways drift had changed slightly. Well worked. Because today it doesn't look like it's uh, yesterday. If, if the drift was as yesterday, it would mean that uh, Fukushima and Hirota is playing the fast end at the moment. That's what it looked like yesterday when uh, I was commentating uh, at the uh, first session. And that's what we assumed all week. And by the end of the evening, we felt that it, it was it was going equally as fast, hitting towards. We felt uh, uh, Tai Su Ying was hitting an awful lot, going long of that far side there. Okay. Well, that's interesting because at the moment it doesn't look like there's any drift. No. Yeah, there you go. That's got miles long. Yeah. Stop sober. 17, 12. 
That's a great placement of the smash from Fukushima. Change. 18. What? Towards the right shoulder. She was committed to her backhand defence. Three points away from the opening game for the number three seeds from Japan. She improved at the front of the court, Yuki Fukushima, over the last 12 months or so. 19, that was a lovely block 13. and move forward. Look how she's now hunting the shuttle at the front of the court. We wouldn't have seen that a couple of years ago. I think it's, it's, it's in. I think it's called in. You're right, Morden. 13. It's a very delicate block shot. Look at this. Yes. Oh, yes, it was clearly in. So, game point opportunities. Oh. Opening game, 21-13. To the two, the number three seeds, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. 17 minutes for that opening game.
Well, there's no doubt in my mind that Park Dubon was talking about turning the defence and either playing a block across court or lifting cross court. Yeah, they want to, to move the two Chinese players as much as possible from side to side. I agree with you, there's no doubt about that, and that's good tactics. Oh, that was a bad serve. Mm. Well, this is the fourth time in five all England championships that a Japanese pair has contested the women's doubles final. But that doesn't really compare with the statistics of Chinese pairs in this particular discipline, Morton. Since China first participated in the All England, which I believe was 1982. 82, yes. Chinese pairs have won 23 of the 20 of the 37 women's doubles titles and since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour back in 2007. Chinese pairs have won nine of the 13 women's doubles titles. Uh, that's incredible. Yeah. Good rally. Ah! Yeah. Finding the angle there, very sharply played from that's Lee. Two, and a one. much, much better start to the second game. As I must say, I, I had expected. Really a little bit too nervous to, to start off with, but I think they have sort of settled in now, and uh, I think we can look forward to a very exciting second game here. Yeah. Placement. Fantastic rally. I thought that one may have been going wide. You know, I that thought so too. From Hirota, that cross court little half court push. But the placement there from Hirota, I, I think it's very nice to see. I've not been commentating on this pair this week. But to me, just watching the first game and the first few rallies here in the second, I sense that uh, Fukushima and Hirota is are much more likely to take more chances, want to play sharper, not going too safe. What I think has been one of the problems when they have not won the matches is because they've gone too safe. Yes, I agree. And I feel today that they have opened up, they play the shots, they go for the lines, they don't just play everything into, into the centre of the courts and so on, but really try to find angles yeah. as well. Yeah. I, in fact, I think Steen and I were discussing that, that they're far more adventurous. So yep. And part of that, I think, is Fukushima's Three, willingness go. to go forward to the front of the court. Yeah, clearly out. And it, it makes it much more enjoyable to watch because they've now become a very exciting player because you don't know where they're going to place the shuttle. Yep, I agree. Ah. Much more interesting to watch. And there is a definite uh, tactic about these cross block shots from uh, the Chinese combination. It's something they have discussed, it's something they've been training, it's something that they really want to do because every time it's happening, you can see the coaches are nodding and saying, okay, this is what we discussed. Yeah. Well, he immediately turns and looks at the coaches and asks the question, yeah. was it going to go long? Should I have left it? Ah. Yeah, points towards the back line. Ah. Oh. Hitting the blue carpet. <laughs> <laughs> So, Morton, if it hits the blue carpet, we can safely assume it's a shocker. 
<laughs> That's an understatement, I can assure you. <laughs> well, that's good attack from Duet. Sub Silver. Five, four. Now, that's good variation as well on her attack, wasn't it? Yeah, she's uh, spreading the attack and really uh, going for good angles. What a rally! Seven, oh, they were under four. severe pressure. Chinese combination. That's the one you mean, isn't yes, it? Morton? Yeah, wonderful save there yeah. from Duyue. Anticipated well. I'm not quite sure what went wrong there. I, I was impressed by Hirota actually, because she played three shots in a row, all of them counter-attacking shots with good quality. that they're targeting Fukushima when they're attacking the Chinese pair or was it just that rally? I think it's just that rally for the time being, but let's see. We can keep a keen eye on it. And it shows the firing power that the Chinese combination have got when they go into attack. I think they're really very, very fierce as and when they intercept at the net as well. Yeah. Good power. <laughs> That's a lovely block. There you are, Morton. That's yeah. what they've been talking about. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's a clear, clear strategic decision. It's a beauty as well, isn't it? <laughs> it is very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what a return. That's nice. Yeah. She's developed her skills. Yeah, very nicely disguised. Doesn't look as comfortable at the front of the court to me, Morton Nguyen Wei, as her partner, Du Yue. And yet she's had success at mixed doubles. She used to play with Jiang Nan, didn't she? Reached the semi final of the All England. She's a very good mixed doubles player as well. Um, I, 
I've seen her on a few occasions this week, and I think she has played really, really well. But she's not playing to the same standard today. You know, you have good and bad yeah. days. Yeah. And I think she's not having one of her best days today. Okay. Nine. Because yesterday, for instance, in the semi-final, she was devastating when she was intercepting at the net. Sharp onto that, Erota. And it's a very good comeback. Four-point deficit has been closed. to try and play that half court. It was going in an upward direction. And Fukushima was very sharp onto that mid-court shot. Yeah, it was just too high, really, wasn't it, from Ian Way. So on a run of five straight points, Japanese pair go into the lead. First time they've been in the lead in this second game. Oh, that's great. There you go, Morton. That proves your point. That's what I meant. I, I think yesterday she was so good doing that. Ten all. Fukushima and Hirota that have the advantage, albeit just one point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game. He's not turned it around there, Morton, from uh, the Chinese pair leading 9-5 to and then the Japanese pair finishing at the mid-game interval with the advantage. What, what was it that happened? What changed? I, I think that the counter-attacking situations from the, the Japanese, from uh, Fukushima and Hirota, really worked out really nicely. They were very good in their counter-attacking. They were good following up, as you remember. At the net, they killed yep. a few as well. So I, I think all the counter-attacking work worked really nicely. Oh, clever. Clever, clever. Lovely change of pace. And she is doing it with such effect because she is standing very close to the net when she's intercepting that one. Look at that, how close she's standing up on the court. Yeah, she was on the front service line, wasn't she? She was. A defensive shot from Sayaka Hirota. 
That's amazing. And the longest rally of this second game, I suspect. And I really think in, in the early stages of that rally, Hirota really had some wonderful defensive shots. And she was actually a little bit sold by partner at one stage, and she saved it and got back into it. She, Fukushima played quite a loose shot, but Hirota saved it in the early stages of that rally. Yeah. Eight of the last nine points, the Japanese pair make that nine of the last ten points. Something has most definitely changed, and I think you're right, Morton, on your analysis. Five nine down to fourteen ten up. Oh. I just can't reach it. I yeah, possibly think there was a double hit on it, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think I think that was a good call. Strong combination. 15, 11. That's the happy player. Yeah. <laughs> you can look at the determination there in her eyes. did plumb on the line, as you would say. That's a very good surprise attacking yeah. shot. And that's the sort of shot that you were alluding to earlier, yes. Morton. Yes, exactly. Willing to go for these angles and go for lines, which yes. before it was so much down the centre of the court, playing safety. Too safe, too safe. It was too easy to defend and anticipate. It's much, much better, this. <laughs> And you can see and tell that Du Yue and Lee is just feeling insecure. They don't know what to do. They're making yeah. mistakes. They feel under pressure because it's unpredictable. Yeah. Well, it's now 12 of the last 14 points to the Japanese pair. Be surprised if we're getting a, a nervous finish to this second game. Somehow I sense that you know the Chinese combinations just say, okay, never mind, we're we're down one game, we're down in the second, we have to do something. Just go for it. Just go for it. And perhaps the Japanese combination is getting a little bit nervous. So I sense that we might have a, a very hectic finish. Running at the max. 
so I'm sure yeah. they Fierce pace. They're really working hard, the four players. Uh, the error on the attempted net shot from Lee Yin Wei. And the three points away from the All England title from the number three seeds, Fukushima and Hirota. Just picking up on your point, though, Morton. Japanese pair, I wouldn't be surprised if they get a little bit nervous. Exactly. Because they've lost three consecutive World Championship finals, two of those finals when they had match point opportunities. Yes. And outside of the Olympics and the World Championships, this is the tournament that all the players want to win, the All England Championships. So this would be a, the, the biggest title they've ever won. Yes, I agree with you. And uh, and we've seen them before get nervous, so that's also why I, sort of said, oh, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Well, that was indeed the longest rally of the match so far, 69 shots. But well saved. It is absolutely imperative for the Chinese pair. But they have a little run of points right now. Yeah, three points now, 16-18. It's possible, it's within reach. Yeah. We've we'll put the uh, Japanese combination under pressure. So, you know. Yes. It doesn't take much. It got long, but there's a challenge here from the Chinese pair. It's the first challenge, I think, of this match, isn't it? It is. It was really cool and calm left by Hirota. Yeah, and I think the line judge made the right call, but here we go. Hawkeye will confirm. Indeed, the line judge did make the right call. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So more. 1913. So two tantalizing points from the title for the beaten finals from two years ago. Oh! That one's just long as well. Sarah, first of the match from any of the players, and that gives match point opportunities to Fukushima and Hirota. Net court. So is that. Oh, and they've done it on their second match point opportunity. And sheer delight for Fukushima and Hirota. Two straight games, 21-13, 21-15.
against Du Yue and Li Yin Wei. Well, disappointments for the Chinese pair, but a thoroughly deserved title for Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. A 17th career title for the two, and it's a third Super 1000 title. There is confirmation 21-13, 21-15 in a match lasting 40 Five minutes. Yes, this is possibly the best performance I've ever seen from uh, Fukushima and Hirota. They really kept it together and they were, as we discussed earlier, so much more adventurous playing this time than I've ever seen them play before. That's really nice to see. Yeah. Stand by, Howard. They really deserved it. So, absolute light for the Japanese pair. Let's go a courtside with Howard Benson. Let's get a word with our women's doubles champions, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, uh, through the translation skills of Adeline. Try and describe what winning the Yonex All England means to you. Zenyen Open, you show the kite, Ima, do no yona kimuchi desu ka? Hey, eh, to. まあ、2年前のテンオープンは決勝で負けていて、去年はベスト 4 で負けて、まあ、すごくこの大会には気持ちを入れてきたんですけど、えっと、2人で優勝することができて本当に嬉しく思います。So Runners up here in 2018, lost in the semis last year. Did, did you think this moment would ever come? やっぱり2年前はあの勝てずで去年はドロップアウトしてしまい、この人時来ると思いましたか。ことが来ると思いましたか。いや、ま、目標としては全オープン優勝したいっていう気持ちはあったので、ま、優勝して嬉しいですし
absolute delight. Yeah. Means so much to all the players. These Yonics All England Championships. A bit like Wimbledon is to tennis, the All England is to badminton. Considering prior to this All England, they'd had two second round losses. This Japanese pair, they have peaked at the right moment. No question about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2020 women's doubles. Presentations will be made by the Managing Director of Yonex UK, Ken Sakamoto, and Council Member of the Badminton World Federation, Kinchi Zenya. The Yonex All England Women's Doubles runners-up from China, Du Yue Li Yinhui. Well, they were in a seventh career final today. Du Yue and Li Yinhui and for a fourth time they have to settle for second best but this is a big step forward it was their first ever super 1000 final let's hear it one more time for our runners up Du Yue Li Yinhui And please give it up for our gold medalist, the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2020 Women's Doubles winners from Japan, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. A 17th career title for this Japanese pair and a third Super 1000 title. But it is their first All England title when playing in their second final two years after their first. The winning shuttle presented to our pairs. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yonex All England Women's Doubles Champions, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota! Congratulations to our athletes. Silver medals for Du Yue, Li Yinhui. Well deserved gold medals. What a great week for Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota of Japan. Thoroughly well deserved title. It's been a while in coming, but well and truly deserved today. Do celebrate with our athletes as they take their lap of honour in just a few moments' time. So as they pose for the photographers, we look forward to four more finals to come. Well, they are absolutely delighted, aren't they? And so they should be their first All England title. First Japanese pair to win the All England for four years since the Olympic champions in 2016. 
so as they leave center stage i can tell you the next final of the day features the number one and two seeds because the next final is men's singles and it's Cho Tian Chen, the number one seed from Chinese Taipei, up against last year's beaten finalist Victor Axelson, the former world champion, wanting to go one better than a year ago.